What's going on guys, it's your boy Ty from Abnormal Beings coming at you with another tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to do the back lever. Now the back lever is a slightly challenging exercise but by now you should have mastered the muscle up, L sit and pull over so it shouldn't be too much of a challenge. When it comes to the back lever there are two different types of grips you can use. So the first one as shown here is a supinated grip and the other one is a pronated grip which you'll see just now. So in my opinion, I think um, the supinated version is a bit harder, so if you can learn it that way first, you will easily be able to perform the other variation. Alright, so the first step in learning how to do the back lever, you want to be able to do some knee raises. So obviously the higher you can do your knee raises, um, the better it's going to be, and uh, the quicker you'll get your back lever. So try and reach as high as possible, and eventually what you want to do is hang upside down and get comfortable just hanging upside down. Um, that's really going to test your sense of awareness and uh, your balance as well. So get comfortable with that and then what you want to do is some skin the cats which you'll see in just a second. So this is how you perform a skin the cat. I'm sure you've seen it before. As a kid I always used to love to do these. Um, you probably did the same as well but uh, they really test your core and it helps you with the core element of the back lever. So get practicing skin the cats. Again, make sure that you don't let momentum swing you back and forth. You want to try and control yourself so you're as still as possible. As you can see, there's still a slight swing, but you just got to control it and try to get it as neat as possible. Okay, we're getting to the juicy stuff, the tucked back lever. At first, you probably won't be able to hold it for long, maybe 5 seconds, but eventually over time, you want to increase it to 10 seconds, then 15, and then once you hit 20, that's when you've mastered the progression and you move on to the next one. So let's say you can only hold this position for 10 seconds. A typical routine would be you do your 10 seconds, have a minute's rest, and then you go back again and do another 10 seconds. You'd aim for around four sets. If you can do four sets, that's a solid amount of time um, in doing a back lever progression. Again, once you can do four sets of 20 seconds, you've mastered that progression, you move on to the next one. I can't stress enough how important it is to master progression. I know you really want to get that back lever, but honestly if you don't want a banana back looking back lever or a really awful looking bad form that's just going to get you injured back lever, um, stick to the basic progressions and maintain, hit those targets, like hit the 20 second of 4 sets, honestly that will help you so much more in the long run. The advanced tuck back lever is slightly more harder, as you can see you're pulling away from the bar and extending your legs outwards. So once you've got your 4 sets 20 seconds down of advanced tuck lever, you move on to the straddle back lever as shown here. Now if your core starts to sink or you notice you, you start to sink, go back a progression. Honestly guys, all I did to learn the back lever was, <laughs> you won't believe me, the normal um, tuck back lever and the advanced tuck back lever, so this back lever. And I held this 4 sets 20 seconds. Over time I did 4 sets even 30 seconds and I realised, hmm, let me try extend my legs and then boom, I had a back lever. Just from doing those basics, over time I just built the conditioning for the back lever. So you don't even need any other progressions. But having said that, what's worked for me might not work for you, so that's why I've included all these other progressions. Alright, so here are some extra core conditioning exercises. So with the back lever, what usually happens, people's lower backs aren't strong enough, and that's where you see that arch in the back lever. That's when that banana back, back lever appears. So these exercises will help strengthen your core. Dragon flags are really useful and if you can, go as low as possible and get that nice stretch in your core. If you notice with the back lever, it's actually a full body workout. Like you're engaging your glutes, your hamstrings, your toes. I think I got toe cramp once from doing back lever. <laughs> but yeah, it does work your whole posterior chain. So it's a really good exercise to have mastered. Alright, the Superman back lever. Again, it's just taking it off the bar, you're doing it on the ground. So you're assuming the back lever positioning, tensing your whole body and lifting up. The alternative to this is just a regular Superman. So again, this is strengthening your lower back mostly, but also your whole core. So with the back lever, I trained it, I think, three to four times a week. 
all I did was those progressions and uh, yeah that's it really and these cool conditioning exercises so yeah just to recap you've got skin the cat as number one progression to do the next one would be the tuck back lever then the advanced tuck the straddle the half lay and last but not least the full back lever once again it's been your boy Tyler from abnormal beings hope you guys enjoyed the video found it informative comment like share subscribe thank you so much for people who have been doing that i see you i notice you it's all love thank you so much i'll catch you guys in the next video peace